so sang and gefried. Washu Mandela, who valande levake, what he so sang and gefried. Hinde Lenzela is a hambayo. Hinde Lenzela is a hamba. Hinde Lenzela is a hambayo. Hinde Lenzela is a hamba. So sang and get free. Wash you, Mandela. Go land in the What he so sang and get free. Do they thank you? Mandela.
say to Matiba go where Dada you have played your part you have made your contribution we'll always remember you we'll always keep you in our hearts we'll always learn from your lessons Amanda Awe tu umande luta shome umande luta shome sasele osi aya osi zulu saga umande luta shome umande I show me chasele O si aya O si zulu saga O mati buta show me O mati buta show me chasele O si aya O si Saga Umati Buta Shome Umati Buta Shome Shasela O Siaya O Sisu Saga Umati Buta Shome Umati buta shome shasele O si aya O si zulu saga Umande luta shome Umande luta shome shasele Umande luta shome, 
the singing it's taken up by others there in the marquee but this is a song of some significance and controversy in some quarters talk to me about that and what is taking place here the the the, the, the song is very significant and it does cause irritation in some quarters as you say you're absolutely correct the song was sung in the early period of the struggle against uh, colonial domination Essentially, it is a prayerful song in which it is suggested that 
African people, black people, are mourning the seizure of their land by white people, and they would like that land to be returned to them. Uh, for a very long time, it was sung in ANC meetings and sung in some churches, by the way. Uh, and it gets sung these days in sad moments like these because the underlying message is a sad one. It is, it is, it is controversial because in South Africa there was no acceptance really that white people ever seized land that belonged to black people. That, that, that is beginning to be slightly muted now, uh, but it does irritate a great many white leaders, especially among Afrikaner people. It seems highly ironic to me, um, Keshla, that a song like this would be sung at a time when a man who was known for reconciliation and inclusiveness is being celebrated, and then you sing this song, which counters that message, so to speak. And yeah, will it be seen as appropriate? Indeed. Indeed. Is this a misstep by Jacob Zuma, in your view? Look, I think, I think it's, it's now universally acknowledged that there was a historical moment in South Africa in which land was seized from black people. Uh, even though I, I think it is important to underscore this message, leaders of African people never ever accepted that apartheid was what we all assume it was, evil, bad, negative, and caused all of these problems that we now all agree it caused. The argument from African leaders is that apartheid was aimed at protecting Afrikaners. They found themselves a minority in South Africa. And for them to be sure that they were governed and ruled by their own people. This idea of apartheid was put on the table. They accept that excesses did happen, but those were never ever intended by the theory of, of apartheid. Now, these are some of the conversations that need to continue in South Africa. I do think that there's a tiny wee bit of insensitivity among the majority population, the ANC in particular, to say things at occasions like these that rub people up the wrong way. There's absolutely no need for that. And I think part of the reconciliation, happily, that Mr. Zuma says that will be carried on long after Mandela is gone, is going to require compromises on both sides. And the compromise that I think is going to be required on the side of black people is to, is to desist from saying things that rub anyone up the wrong way. No.